Every time you start designing your website using DB5, you get this default footer right here. So in this video, I want to show you how to create your own footer in DB5. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to head over here to my WordPress admin dashboard. And by the way, before I continue, I'd like to remind you that I have a website called dvuniversity.com. This is a platform for DV users. So you can go ahead and join the community members there. This is a one-stop place for learning Divi and also sharing and inspiring uh, each other with like-minded people. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to head over to Divi and then you want to go to the theme builder. So it's very important you go to the theme builder because this is the place that we're going to build this footer. So, okay, let's go ahead now and click on add global footer by clicking over here and then we're going to say build global footer. All right, so with this all set now, the first thing we're going to do is to head over here to our, our rows. So I want one column to start off with. And what I'm going to use for this is going to be a blurb. So I'm going to select it now, leave it on for a bit, and then I'm going to come over here to my section settings. So this is where we need to decide what color our footer is going to be. So usually there's dark footers and light footers. For, so for this example, let's go dark. All right, so we're going to come over here to our background and choose a dark color. So in this example here, I'm using black, but of course you can choose any other shades of colors that you may want to use. But I don't want to go all black, so I'm going to bring it down to just a tad bit above the 0000. zero, zero, zero. All right, so with that selected, I'm just going to click on this check mark here and we're good to go. Next, we're going to come over now to our blurb and start customizing it. So I'm going to click anywhere in here. And the first thing I need to do is to remove my image in here by deleting it. Great. So this is going to work as my title. So let's start changing all our colors. So I'm going to come over here to design. So we're going to start off with our title text here. And it's H4, which is brilliant. And now let's change this to, let's say we go with that white. All right. Next, we also want to change the colors of this text in here so we're going to close that come over here to text and you know in fact it's body text that we need so we're going to come over here and we just need to adjust the size a little bit so i'm going to go with um let's go with two rem let's see how that looks like okay so as we can see that's way too big so we're going to bring it down to let's say 1.2 and that is much better okay i think i can work with that and we're also going to change the color so we're going to go with that color. In fact, you know what? That might be a bit too much. Let's go with 1.1, okay? And as you can see, the title here doesn't look uh, great. We may need to increase the size on the title there. So I'm going to collapse this, go back to our title text, and we are going to set this to 2 rem. How about that? In fact, that's a bit too much. So as you can see, I'm building this and also looking at how the font is going to look like as I'm designing this. So it's very important that you put in the size here, test if everything is looking great. So I think I'm going to go with 1.6 RAM. Okay. So, so far, so good. The next thing now is to come over here to my content because this is where I need to add all my information over here. So the easiest thing to do is to just add all, all your links here. So I'm just going to call this link A, hit enter, link B, hit enter, link C, and we're going to do link D. Okay. So... With all this now set, we want to make this, these uh, links. So I'm going to highlight this text and then I'm going to now head over to my chain icon. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And then I'm going to go to my URL here and just add a blank link. Click OK and then just do this to the rest of the links. Now, this is this stage is very important because you need to uh, adjust the, uh, the links on hover. So having them set as links is very, very important. OK, so now I've managed to do the last one. We're going to enter that and click on OK. All right. So with that all set now, uh, what we could also do as well is we can uh, we can add bullets if you want to add bullets to this. But I'm going to keep things very simple here and just leave it as that. OK, so now that I have this all set, the next thing I need to do now is to head over to design and go to my links. So I'm going to cl uh, close this go to my body text and let me target my links here. So I'm going to go with my default color here. In fact, it needs to be white or maybe I may just need to go in there and just bring it down a little bit by adding some transparency. Okay. I think that looks okay. So now we want that when we hover, 
we see our hover color. So what I'm going to do next is to head over here, make sure I select hover. And then now I can choose my color. So I'm going to go with this. So that's going to be my hover color. In fact, it's a bit too, it's not bright enough. Okay. So let's go with uh, something like that. All right. So I think I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead now and go back to the desktop and then we are going to save that. Okay. So, so far so good. You can see now that we've gone in and added all our links. Now we just need to adjust the line height because I think things are not looking great there. Oops. So what I need to do while I'm in my body text here, I am going to adjust my line height to 1 EM and then back over here. I've just noticed that I've got too many gaps. So I want to get rid of these gaps like that and then add proper line heights. That way it will look much better. Okay. So back over here now, you can see I can dial in the exact amount. So I'm going to say 1.2, see what that looks like. But definitely I would like to increase that to perhaps maybe 1.7. Yeah, I think 1.7 works. All right. So this is going to act as my default text. So the next thing I need to do, I know I'm going to need a few columns. So we're going to come back over here to my row settings. So you can see here we have one column. So I'm going to duplicate this a few times. So you can see now I have my three columns, which is fantastic. Uh, so I may need to go for another one. So let's just add another column here. But this time, this one here is going to be blank. All right. So with all this set now, I'm now going to just rearrange these columns because I have a design idea in mind. So this very last one, I'm going to drag it all the way to the top like that. Okay. So now that we have this, I can go individually now into this one, for example, and then I can just give this a heading of about us. Oops. Okay. And then for the next one here, this can be our services. I'm going to come over here and then say services like that. And then finally on this one here, I can either add my address or I can go in and add uh, social media links and so on and so on. But for this one here, I'm just going to say contact. All right. And then I can just add my details here. So I'm going to go with 112 custard factory. Okay. But of course you can add whatever address you want to add in here. It doesn't really matter that. And then I'm just going to add the city here, Birmingham, the postcode. I can say BY1386. Okay. I think that looks great. And then I'm just going to add two lines and I'm going to add the phone number here. And then I'm going to add a colon and then a zero one two one triple three six six seven one one two okay so that's the phone number so with this set now so far everything is looking great so i can decide what to add in here but um, i mean it just depends but before i can go to the left column i just want to go in and add my social media icons because these will work very well with with this information i have here so first of all we need to adjust our padding so i'm going to go in and go to design spacing and for the margin top, I'm going to set this to uh, 2 EM. It's a bit too much. So let's set this to maybe 1. I think that's great. And then I can come back over here to my content and duplicate this a few times. And this is where now you can go in and start adding all your social media links. So for example, on this one here, the network is going to be, let's say, Instagram. And this is where you would add your link, your Instagram link like that. So you just want to go in and make sure you add all these uh, links and the networks. So this one here, for example, is going to be say WhatsApp. I'm going to go back. And then finally, maybe for this one here, we can go with TikTok. Do we have TikTok in here? Oh, yes, we do. And there it is. All right. So now we have our social media icons. I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Okay. So, so far, so good, but um, we may need to add something else here on the bottom. So let's go and add a single row. And in here, we're going to add text, right? So with this text now, I want to make it dynamic. So I'm going to go into my texts, change this to site name. How about that? Or well, site title. So I'm going to make this a normal paragraph, hit apply. So now you can see it's saying DV5. That's because the name of this website is DV5. Okay. Now let me go back in and show you something really cool. And that is if you click on this gear icon, you can add something before or after. So what I'm going to say here is after, and then I'm going to add the year 2024 and I'm going to add a space before 
this pipe, click apply. There we go. So DB5 2024. And I also need a line that separates this. So let's go ahead and click on design. And then we're going to go to border. And this time the border is going to be on the top like that. Set it to one pixel. And I think the color is fine there. It doesn't have to be uh, too in your face like that. So I think that works great. Finally, I need to now go into our section settings and add some padding. So I'm going to come over here to design basing. And we are going to add a padding of 6% to the top. And then to the bottom here, we're going to set this to 2%. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because we don't need a massive footer here on the bottom. So it looks like this row is also taking up a lot of space. So let's go ahead and fix that. So we're going to come over here and go to spacing. So for the padding bottom, I'm going to set this to zero. How about that? Okay. So it looks like the spacing here doesn't look uh, right. So let's try and add zero to the top as well and then we can start fixing it from here so let's start with two rem okay so that needs to be one then because two is a bit too much okay i think that looks much much better now in terms of the spacing all right so great and finally now we just need to add a bit of color to our text here so i'm going to come to design text and okay why hasn't that changed Let's have a look. It should have changed. Oh, this is link text color. Strange. So it looks like this is not a link. So I need to go back to the body here. It's very important. You, you click on the right item. I think it remembers the last item that I've selected here. Okay. So just be aware of that. All right. So I'm going to increase the size a little bit here. So I think we said 1.2 rem. Oh, I thought it was 1.2. That's strange. All right. So let's leave it at one. And then I'm also going to bring it down a little bit because it's too bright. All right. So, so far, so good. I think this is really taking shape. So there's a few things I need to do here. And that is to test and see how this looks like on tablet. So it looks like we have these well spaced out and yeah, I think the content, because the content is not too, too much, then it's showing them all okay on this mobile device. All right, great. So I'm pretty much happy with that. But you know what, as I'm looking at this background color, it's a bit too dark. So let me go in and make a slight tweak. Yeah, I think that is much better. Okay, because I don't like using black, um, solid black colors. Okay, so over here, you can decide to add, you know, something else. It could be an image. So let's add our image here and you can decide what image this is. Or if you want to add a video, it's pretty much up to you. So let me go in and see uh, what I can add in here. So let's say I want to highlight uh, perhaps maybe this image here. I can just add it like that and pretty much it is okay. But what I'm going to do is to add a bit of text. And this text is just a short description of our website. So I'm going to go to Lorem Ipsum and here I'm just going to grab a bunch of text like that and then back over here now. I'm just going to go in and search for my text module. Great. Now I can go in and paste. All right. So with this, I'm going to do a bit of uh, customizations to make it really look nice and stand out from uh, all the other content that we have on there. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to design and set this to one rem. Ideally, you want to use presets for this because with presets, I mean, you can work faster and you don't need to keep going in, you know, adding the sizes and so on. All right. So with that set now, I'm now going to add a bit of uh, padding around this. So I'm going to go to spacing and set this to two rem. I'm going to do this to uh, all sides and notice that I'm using this chain icon. So now that I have this, I have now the opportunity to go in and add my background color. You see that? So it's it's got some even spacing inside. I mean, some really good padding. And uh, I may need to uh, adjust the um, transparency here, bring it down a bit because I don't want it to be, you know, just way too much. So you can do the same thing here. You can start off with white and then you can start adding your transparency like that. OK, and then finally, we want to go into our text here and adjust that. So let's say we want this to be white, but a bit off. So we're going to go with a lighter gray. Okay. So I think we have great contrast and we can still read what's in there. So that's great. And then I may need to highlight maybe a bit of the text here, right? So I just want to get rid of this so it can be all in the same line. Okay. So with that, I can just highlight this and make it bold. Okay. So maybe this is a description of our website. And then we're going to go ahead now and save. All right. 
So with that saved, we can now exit, save changes. And now when we go to our website, this is what we started off with. If we refresh this, I notice that we have a footer, right? So do you notice that all this here is not working because it's now gone into a straight line? I wasn't expecting that to be honest. So let's go ahead and fix that. So let's go back in here. So we're gonna highlight that. Hmm. So this must be a bug in DV5 because if we come over here to visual, we shouldn't be seeing all the uh, HTML code like I'm seeing it here, which is strange. So I might need to start all over again. All right, anyway, and it hasn't even updated over here. This is strange. Okay, I'm just gonna save and refresh this where something wrong is happening. Let's go back in, let's see how it looks. There we go. All right, so we're back now. So I think something was going on, something fishy was going on here. So let's just have a quick look here when we refresh and see. Okay, they're not in a straight line. All right, no problem. Uh, there's another option that we could do. I'm just gonna add an enter here between these and then I'm just gonna highlight everything and add bullets. Okay, so to fix that, I'm just gonna come like that. Just delete these lines like that, delete again. Okay, fantastic. So now we see that we have these bullets. Now let me try something here. Can I copy my styles? Is this working in DV5? Let's have a look. Paste copy styles. Okay. Did that work? I don't think so. But anyway, we might as well just go in and add our bullets. Okay. Now, do you notice that when I try to add the bullet, it just adds it to one item? Ideally, we don't want that. So I'm just going to highlight everything. And then we just have to delete each line like that. Now, since we have our line height all set, um, everything is going to look great. Okay, so now this should work. Let me hit save and then I'm going to refresh over here. There we go. So that's looking much, much better now, you see? Okay, so finally now, let me see if I remove this, what happens? Okay, all right, so it works. So let's head over back to visual and we're going to set this to a link by adding a blank URL. Okay, so it looks like everything is okay now. I'm going to go ahead and save and exit, save all changes. And then when I refresh for the last time, you can see now that we now have a footer. So with this footer, you can add so many things here. You can add an opt-in form. You can add a video to it. It's pretty much up to you, but this is the quickest way to uh, get your footer set up for your website. And this applies across the whole website, by the way. So it's not gonna work on just one page. And the beauty of this is whatever changes you make here, they'll be applied across the whole website, even if it has a thousand pages. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.